Hey, what's up with YouTube Truck Road here? Today I'm back with a brand new video. And it's a two for one again. Um, so, last night, in case you missed it, was the night of, well, Halloween Kills. It's currently in theaters right now. It is also on Peacock, which is where I watched it. And I thought, what the hell? It's free on Peacock. I have Peacock. So, what the hell? I watched it. And I'll get... I'll get, I'll get to it a bit later. But today, but right now we're talking Nancy Drew, Season 3, Episode 2. So yes, it is time to be talking about... More, yes, this is the day we're talking about... We're talking more Nancy Drew, which is a show that I love to death, that I'll be watching... Religiously throughout the throughout throughout the year, until we get to the final episode of season three. So of course, like last time, I watched it last night, rewatched it again today, and oh my god, it was a good one to rewatch. Just like the first one, where where it reintroduced some character, where it re to the characters we've grown up. We're going to know of from the previous two seasons, including a new one in Temperance in Temperance Hudson. We also got to know of um, other cool characters, like for example. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not really sleepy in the morning. Like, for example, um, well, the FBI profiler that we got, that we added in a few weeks ago. That we added in last week, I mean. He's in it, and I'm okay with it. I mean, I think he'll be very crucial to the story, and I'm interested to see what happens next. I'm sorry, what? I'm sorry, it's on. That's what's the tamper with magic. Um, for those of you who don't know who Bess is, Bess is a character. That is for those of you who don't know who Bess says Bess we met season one episode one. She's a member of a rich family that then this owned her. There's only ex lover did to her. To her.
Um, I'm not going to get that. I'll get that when I do the review of season two, which will happen once I'm done reviewing season three. Anyways, um, so, yeah. Hmm. Um, she's again best is tampering with magic, or she wants to learn magic for some odd reason. I don't know why she wants to learn magic. Some some verses of the show is very loose. Um, like for example, why some characters do what they do. I mean, Nancy does, does what she does because she wants to. Um, she wants to. Save the town. Um. And basically, there's a cat. That walking best does magic, which works weirdly enough. And this sparkles go into the cat's eyes, and she has like human eyes, which again is fucking weird. But still, it's a really cool um, shot. I love it. Um, yeah, and also it's a really good episode. This season's going to be really good, I think, especially since, like, we don't know. Oh, and um, something else we found out from last week is that, um, the Frozen Hearts Killer, I guess that's what they're calling him, is also using Argon Gas. Which, okay, that's awesome, I guess. Um, also, the profiler, I think, has a thing for Nancy. Not totally sure about that. Do not quote me on that. But in the next, but I'm excited for next week's episode because we were learning about something called Detective Con. Oh, and, um, I just want to this out. Where was the Halloween kills? Um, literally. From out of nowhere. Where, um, oh, and of course, um, last, the first episode, um, um, Nancy was named the, the, the police liaison for the commute, for the town, for, for the town. And, um, 
She asked where her office was. She just gave her a table. Like, you're like you're a community li li liaison who went to the police station, asked where your office was, and you don't get an office. You get a freaking table with no chair. Like, what the fuck? That's fucked up. But it's also very funny. Alright, then we're going to Halloween Kills. The latest movie in the Halloween franchise. Um. It was okay. I mean, I watched it all the way through. I didn't get scared. And that's one thing I really wanted, really wanted from a horror movie, is make you, make you want to literally wet my pants. But it didn't do that. So it wasn't very scary. In fact, a movie that doesn't make me wet my pants... Hmm. Or shit myself is not a horror film. Hmm. That's just a bad movie. It's just not a... I mean, it's not a bad movie. It's, but it's not, you know... It's, a, it's just a good movie. Especially if it's a horror film that's supposed to get... Make me scared. No. But, oh, what do I think of the movie? It was okay. The Mario Mario stuff was cool. Um, the fact that he had a ton of people surrounding him, and he still came back a lot, and he's still alive, astounds me. Like this dude should have been dead already. He got bashed in the head with a hockey stick, baseball bats, and 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 his thing. It's literally night the entire movie. Like there's no daytime. It all takes place on one day, Halloween night. All takes place one day of the year, one night of the year. Halloween night. That's it. Okay, sorry about the guys. Um, my mom's always a picture of messages that I had to look at and I had to do something. But, um, like I said, it was an okay movie. 
I wasn't really expecting much. Um, but again, it's only nighttime. Like, like it takes place mainly at night. The whole movie, which I can't, which I kind of get, but like, they have to come on come on at some point. Like, literally, Manko Mars has to die in one of these movies. Maybe some. Maybe call it. Maybe call it the next one Halloween, the end of Michael Myers. Because. I'm getting sick out of these movies coming out, guys. I'm mean, they're not bad movies. I just I want them to stop making them. And thinking they're probably not going to, so I mean, all. I mean, I do recommend it if you're willing to put your kids through. If, I mean, I do recommend for the, this movie the parents that they're, they just want to give their kids a good scare. Or if you're, like, very squeamish, then don't watch this movie at all. But it's a very. I mean, I will say this, though. I did I did laugh at one part of the movie. It was where this one guy was thought where people thought he was Michael Myers, but he wasn't Michael Myers. And then they were just trying and they're just getting out they're just going to this innocent man with mob mentality. I mean, that's not funny, but the, it's but it's funny how they thought he was Michael Myers. But anyways, guys, that's all for me today. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. As always, I'll catch you all next time. And tomorrow, we're taking a look at Common Rider Revice. Peace.